All right, I'm Chuck Phillip, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. And so now I'm going to review the Tool Ion Plasma Cutter. Uh, this is a TL50C, and this claims it can cut up to half-inch steel, which is pretty darn impressive. And what led me to this is I actually needed a piece of plate cut, and when I called around, a lot of the people I talked to could not cut anything really thick, uh, mostly just sheet metal and then some that claimed they could cut it, it was going to be $100 to make the cut and so as cheap as this machine was, it was just financially feasible just to buy the machine uh, because there is going to be some other things I'm going to be doing with this. I already had the welder uh, from the same company, the Tool Iron Company and I've already got a video up on that as well if you want to take a look at it and that turned out really good. I'm really surprised at how well uh, that machine can weld now it's just like that welder in some respects because this claims it'll work off 110 or 220. I call it 120 to 40 because that's usually what measures out at the outlets. And I'll say this, I haven't tested this in 120. Uh, more than likely you're going to have to use the 220, 240 volt setting for this to work really well. And uh, this is how this is connected at the front. Uh, this just threads in there. It has a protective cap that goes there. That threads on. Um, got this red wire that grounds to this, and this is the control wire, and of course this is the uh, grounding electrode wire here that goes all the way up with the clamp to that steel plate there. Now it did come with the regulator on the back. Uh, the only thing I don't quite like is the hose. Uh, uh, this is kind of a little bit flimsy. I mean it works. Uh, I would prefer this to be a little bit higher quality and a little bit better way of clamping this as well and you will need to use some Teflon tape on those threads otherwise it will leak and this is where you can adjust you have to push down maybe it's pull up on this to adjust the air pressure uh, coming out of your air compressor and know that the more air you have coming through this the more it's going to be able to blast away the metal so it's going to depend on how thick the metal is will determine how much air pressure you're going to need to put on this unit. It's not that heavy, it's not that big, and so far this works really well. And to give you a little point about that is this is what I've, I cut this yesterday. I just put it all up here so you can see. Uh, it did leave some slag marks and stuff like that, which is to be expected. And you can see where I did a little test right there in the corner back there. Let's see if I can get closer to it. And because this is just a scrap piece on the right side, uh, just to see what sagging I need to have this put on in order for this to uh, cut like I wanted it to. It cut pretty good considering, you know, it was a hand cut. I mean, if you had a, a, a table plasma cutter, it would have certainly done a lot better than what this did. But, you know, for what, what it is and being hand cut, I'm real impressed with how, how it did and the quality of it. But that's the reason why you use a Buckeye grinder is what I call these, uh, to grind these imperfections out. It's much like uh, caulk is to a framing carpenter it, it fixed mistakes and that's what that does and also these wire wheels are, are good to have as well you know because they just make it faster to uh, make these sort of repairs now it did come with these other cups and other fittings uh, tips there for it and this particular uh, plasma cutter doesn't require direct contact to the steel in order for it to start the cutting process or create an arc and you know, that's another reason why I went with this model, too, is to help with that. Uh, the only problem I really had when I was making this cut is not being able to see my line. And so I went to Ace Hardware and got a, a white paint pen and made a really thick white mark all the way down so I could see when I was welding. Because when you start to weld, well, your, your shield blacks out and you really need something bright to see your line where you're cutting. And that did help. I, I think there may be other paint pens out there that may even be better than this. And if you know what they are, I mean, please put them in the comments because I like to know. And I use this type of welding glove because it's more flexible. Because uh, those thick ones can kind of inhibit, you know, you being able to work the nozzle uh, like you should. But this went relatively quick. And so I will certainly give two thumbs up uh, to the Tool Iom uh, TL50C Plasma Cutter. It definitely does what it says it will do. 
And another good thing about these plasma cutters as well, especially this one, if it can cut up to a half inch steel, is that it eliminates the need uh, for an acetylene oxygen rig, which is another way, it's primary way used to cut metals with one of those. But you cannot cut stainless with acetylene oxygen. It has to be plasma uh, to cut stainless. So that's another good reason to have one of these, plus you don't have to store acetylene and oxygen gas. Well, I hope this has been somewhat informative, guys. I uh, will say this uh, welding hood I got from a Chicago Electric uh, brand from Harbor Freight. About 50 bucks. It blacks out when the arc is struck. It's got some adjustment to it. And so I think for the money, it's about as good as it's going to get it for the welding shield. I uh, hope this has been informative. If you want to see the one on the welding machine, uh, it's on this channel. And there again, I appreciate any tips you can offer me as well. Take care, guys.